Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome to my second Let's Play of Mass Effect 3. Previously, it was on PS3, and now we're on PC. So why am I doing this? Well, if you saw my previous video, I kind of went over that. But anyway, uh, I, I felt like playing the Mass Effect series again. Uh, I Mostly because of Legendary Edition has been out and other people have been playing it, so that rekindled my interest into finally playing it for PC, which I've had for a while. Uh, I also wanted to play through Mass Effect 2 and 3 on the off chance, and this is a chance that Mass Effect 4, which will take place apparently both in the Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxies, uh, will be able to import your save file and maybe have some world state things that occur because of that. So that's why I'm doing it on top of uh, also being able to mod the game. That's pretty, pretty big. Uh, Legendary Edition, while well, I'm sure it already has mods coming out for it, uh, most of the mods that are out for Mass Effect 3 are substantially and require a lot of work to do. So in order for the Legendary Edition to get up to the quality of mods currently up for Mass Effect 3, that would take six months to two years. Possibly less because there's going to be ability to port some, but it's not as simple as just, you know, they, a lot of them have to be rebuilt, rebuilt from scratch. But anyway, we're going to hop right into it. Uh, we're going to go new game, import character. So I have two characters. I have Shadow Shepard, which was my infiltrator class, which I played on Insanity, and Leroy Shepard, which was my Vanguard class that uh, I played on Hardcore. And uh, fun fact, I think if I just do this, this took 38 hours, whereas this took 22. Both of them were basically 100% complete. Uh, the main difference, I think, was combat. Uh, the issue I had, first off, there was Insanity versus Hardcore, which is a difference. But the main issue I had is because one of the mods I had in Mass Effect 2, which, by the way, I'm not showing because I didn't have anything that substantially changed the game, unlike this. I've got significant mods that add missions and change the ending. So look forward to that. But anyway, uh, the main issue I had was I'd shoot someone once in, as an infiltrator, they'd lose all their shield and then 50 HP, and then they'd automatically use an ability and get all their shield back, and it'd take two bullets to kill. I only have like 11 to 15 bullets, and I'm in the back, so I'm not getting ammo. Whereas with the Vanguard, I charge, I punch, I shoot, I punch again, and they're dead. I've used one bullet, and I'm charging right next to where they're dropping ammo. So that made fights way easier. And part of it was hard was because it was hardcore. If I played on Insanity, most likely that would not have been the case. I might have left a couple people alive. But that being said, it would have taken a second bullet then. And I, you know, I, I was pretty pretty much uh, going, you know, all out. The only times I really died were because I wouldn't lock into someone that's in the open moving, or uh, some other like the 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 biotic charge failed to go off for some reason. And you're standing in place with your cooldown looking like an idiot. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and import this. You saw the uh, the options there. So I do, once again, I do have a lot of mods. Um, the main differences are going to be some additional missions, um, some other stuff, including being able to use uh, abilities. I still just kept the custom shape. So I do have a lot of texture mods installed. So the way I like to think of it is that my game texture quality wise will be in between Mass Effect 3 default and a legendary edition is kind of where it sees and once again I'm ready to go on vanguard high risk high reward combat style so incendiary ammo cryo ammo biotic charge nova shockwave pull which is right the Roy shepherd colonist war hero vanguard yep that's it Yeah, well, there's not much I could change because I imported and they don't let you change much. Oh, Solarians only need an hour of sleep? What? That's crazy. Oh. So they live for like half a human lifespan, but if they only need an hour of sleep, doesn't that mean they technically live longer? Like... How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. 
God help us all. But something else I should point out too is that uh, I'm playing at and recording at 2K resolution when this game's default was uh, 720. So that's it. something to consider. For whatever reason, I can see the first letter of those sentences, even though they're not showing up on the recording, it looks like. So, standing trial for the destruction of a star system. So without playing the DLC, uh, you will not know that Shepard blew up a Mass Effect relay and killed over 300,000 Batarians. Which apparently isn't a big issue in terms because Batarians are assholes. But, oh god. I don't know why that... Uh, I don't know why it's headless. That's interesting. Hopefully that's uh, not too bad. Anyway, I think the only reason why I can do this is because of mods <laughs> go with the hoodie so armor set um definitely want a helmet breather gives me the recharge oh yeah show info there we go i was gonna say so what what do i want to focus on well power recharge is the big one. Oh god i hope that's not a Glitch. I have to restart everything if that's the case. Power recharge speed. Body. So I might be a little OP in terms of having a bunch of mods that give armors and stuff ahead of time. Why can't I? Oh, I have to. Sc I can't pull down. God, that's porting from PC to. Or from console to PC. At least that feels like. I don't know if these games were they're probably designed for consoles and then ported it over, honestly. That's just giving me some bonus there. So power damage. Why does it give three po power damage bonuses? That seems weird. These give double weapon. Those give double. That's weird. Oh. oh, well, whatever. Also, I didn't pick the difficulty, did I? Did that not pop up? Hmm. Oh, that's why. So if I do this, then they don't clip, and then I get effectively the bonus for the legs, because it's a full set. So I could be a dick and do like extra armor slots here. But that's the reason why I like that. Okay. Um. Not a huge fan of the red. Probiotic, so let's go with like a purple, blue, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it goes with the purple biotics. Unless they've changed the color of that, too. So I didn't change the difficulty. Hopefully that's... Unless it also imported the difficulty. That's also possible. So I did... One of the mods I did download was... Uh, the videos go from 720p to, I think, the 4K resolution is what I downloaded. They look pretty solid at 2K resolution. Because you get some massive pixelations. Commander, you're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. Well, this isn't a video. This is in-game engine. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. 
Anderson. Admiral. You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reavers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. Tiny, tiny, tiny wheel. You know we're not ready if it is then. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one, then blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. This echo effect is really bothering me. I'm not sure if it's my headset or the game. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard. Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander? You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I guess I did. Still, good to see you. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson, Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? I mean, you had me... We've lost contact with Luna Base. You had me docked... It couldn't be that ...for six months. What'd you expect me to, to do? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. we heard from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? Get me my ship. The only thing we can. We fight <laughs> or we die. 
We should get to the Normandy. Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say, my gosh. Just the council's just dead. Is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the Normandy. You'll have to contact me. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. Now <clears throat> well, that debris strikes me as a reason why we're not having heard from them. Come on, Shepard. Let's move. Wait, what? Well, my Mass Effect 3. Look out. Are my How things different? What is going on? All right, well, I'm actually going to pause my recording real quick and figure this out. All right. That's better. God, this thing is the, the HUD is so tiny at 2K. I thought I installed a mod for that, but I guess not. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world. It's large enough for me and time is paused. It's not the end of the world. So what happened there was my key binds were messed up. I'm not sure if it was the side I have because I have a hot key. Uh, keyboard that I used to play on. I'm not sure if it was because the keyboard shortcut guy I looked up was wrong. It was for the legendary edition or what, but that's what that was. Thankfully, I'm recording on OBS now instead of using the Elgato, which means I can pause my recording because I don't think you could do that with an Elgato. But, uh... It's farther than it looks. Yeah, there's no... You just hold down the button. That was Come a on, great frame rate drop, by the way. Actually... Okay, just to confirm, we were on Insanity. Um, everything else is the way I want it. Come on! We'll have to go this way! You know what? To what is going on? Uh, it doesn't matter. Huh. Weird. Well, I'm gonna keep going, I guess, with the sound, but. Looks clear, let's go. Lieutenant Commander, you read me. I'm passing in Shepard. Take him out. Still sounds really weird. Not gonna lie. All right, let's uh, because I'm, I don't need to worry too much about my audio balance. I'm gonna increase the sound effect volume up. Cause I, I used to have OBS monitoring my audio so it doesn't get too loud. God, this is a different game. Also ammo. Do I have ammo? Have to take these things out the old fashioned way. Oh, no ammo. Oh, now I have ammo. Thanks a lot. Don't let him grab you. Find 
Man, this is a different game. All right, I got the tactical roll. Through this way. It's okay. Everyone's dying. <laughs> Come here. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. Buy a necessary kid. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Anderson Every didn't notice, didn't ask why I was stop. looking in the vent. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. I get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The oh, it was here. my headset. <laughs> be soon enough. You said it yourself. I just touched power, power flip on my headset, which is a little touchy. And the audio totally changed. So there's that. No, but you're a council specter. That has to count for something. Gotcha. <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> Reload. Let's keep moving. So the interesting thing about the thermal clips is I get why like they would need to like reload, but by definition, wouldn't they like cool off eventually? Like it would have been interesting to have like uh, especially given that in the older games, I think in Legend Edition they increased. Oh god, its cover movement is so much better than this than two. The uh, there's more ammo in the Legendary Edition. Wow, I wasn't really paying attention. That looked almost like it was the Normandy. Normandy, we're going to reroute. Do you copy? Normandy, come in, friendlies. You two all right? Down, they'll see you. Batarian husks. Keep your head down. Nice job. Ow. Ow. Oh, what the? Why did I get out of the cover? <laughs> well, this is going to be a fun playthrough. I guess I don't have my abilities. That's my excuse. Oh, I don't have my hoodie on anymore. That's interesting. You two all right? Get down, they'll see you. Keep your head down. Oh man, that's annoying. How am I supposed to... God, the reload is fast! I don't know if moving actually helps, but... Oh 
Oh, my codex updated because I killed them, huh? That's... Ow! There we go. Thank you for not removing me from cover for no apparent reason. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We tried to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. We need a radio and not an omni tool. Come on. Let's get to that gunship. Oh, the Omni tool is, you know, Omni. That's some weird stuff, by the way. Also, something to consider is I don't think my health regens. So, I don't need it. I got full health. What the hell are those things? Ha! Oh, that's... Okay. God, I'm gonna get killed more. I need to level up so bad. So part of the problem is that in two, I would spam the cover button because the cover system was definitely not as smooth. So I have to unlearn that. Anderson has an ability. Uh, thank you. Oh god, there's more. Ah! Get. Oh god, I did it again. Well, we're almost at 30 minutes, so I'm going to cut off this first video here with me dying quite a bit. This will be f a fun LP. At least until I can charge. Then it'll become OP. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and God bless.